In this work, we propose an open vocabulary queryable scene representation that can be combined with large language models to enable robot planning and operation. We first let the robot explore the scene and gather observations. A class agnostic region proposal network proposes regions of interest and encodes them into visual language model embeddings. The embeddings and object bounding boxes are aggregated by a multi-view fusion algorithm to create a representation that will be later queried with natural language inputs. When a human gives an instruction, a large language model parses the instruction into a list of related objects. We then query the scene representation for availability and locations of these objects. Executable options are generated based on what's found. Finally, the robot plans and accomplishes a task based on the instruction in the found objects. We now show our method on robot in a real office kitchen. First, we run a scripted exploration algorithm with class agnostic detection and capture all clip features. We can also run a frontier exploration algorithm for any novel environment. In this demo, the human gives an instruction to put the brown multigrain chips in the woven basket. The robot proposes two objects, woven basket and brown multigrain chips to look up in the scene representation. As visualized in the map at the bottom right, both objects are found and localized. The robot then plans and does a task by combining large language model and affordances as visualized on the top right corner. The robot is now asked to watch an apple. The robot proposes three objects, apple, tap, and sink. Training a policy to watch items is beyond the scope of the project, so a simpler pick-and-place version of the task is demonstrated here. The robot correctly picks up the apple and puts it in sync. If we are unconstrained by available manipulation policies, we can lift the constraint on large language models, and then it will output steps like turn on the tap as next action. We now tell the robot to water the potted plant. The instruction is parsed into two objects, the potted plant and water. The robot correctly finds the two objects in the scene. It then generates a plan and executes the task accordingly. Notably, if any of the required objects are not found in the scene, the robot planner will realize the task is invisible and output termination signal directly.